Hi guys, it's Cindy with Pups and Crochet. Do not adjust your channel, it is me. <laughs> I have been working on some things that I want to show you. And I have some others in the business, in the works, that are so cute. And I also have some new blankets started and I'm getting things done. I'm trying new things. I just got out of the shower, so excuse my hair. And this is the reason why I'm a dork. I was walking Peanut last night, and he went into the grass, and I'm walking with him, got my flashlight, walking to make sure what I'm stepping on. And what do I do? A big white moss flies out of the ground, flies to my face. I go like this and flick it. And what do I do? Stick my cigarette right to my face. Yes, I did. So I don't need anybody to hurt me because I hurt myself enough. <laughs> so that's what this is. A burn. A burn I did myself. Okay, so, congratulations to all our winners that entered our Twister contest. I'm going to try to make a reel to put all the pictures together so I can put them on so you can see them because they all turned out beautiful. I could not pick just one, so everybody got a prize. That's what I do. I don't know. I can't make decisions. Never. Okay, so I'm going to show you one thing. Then I'm going to tell you a story about Olivia. <laughs> Had me crying. Okay, I was laughing so hard. Okay, I don't remember if I showed you my giant cookie with chocolate chips. My giant cookie. <laughs> I was going to stuff the white too, but then I didn't. So, he's just like, raw. <laughs> but that is my giant cookie. And I can't remember if I showed you because I had it only half finished. And I don't think I did. But. But. Type cookie. It's a giant chocolate chip cookie. Okay, so. I got to tell you about Olivia. My sister and my niece, Kristen. They went to the cemetery today to put flowers on my mom and grandma's grave for Mother's Day. And that would be a three-hour ride for me. And they know, I even my mom knew I hated going there. I just, it's just not my thing. Okay, I hate going there. So, I plant flowers here for my mom. Anyway, so my uncle, when my grandma passed away, picked to put her on this side and this side all has just flat stones you can't have the raised ones but if you cross the little driveway thing all over here is all these giants marble stones that like I come up to like maybe some of them up to here this is where I'm at and they are just huge I mean, and there's one that's like this giant tower that I don't even know how they got that in there. But it's huge. So, this was the first time Olivia went there with Kristen and Vicky, And, you know, Olivia's got her brain going. She looks over on the other side, you know, across the little driveway. And she starts booking and Vicky's got her on video and she sent it to me and, and I'm dying. And Kristen, Kristen took off after her and said, Olivia, where are you going? She goes, I want to play in the city. <laughs> she thought because of her little cartoons, how they all have their own little towns and stuff. She, she thought that all the gravestones 
were buildings and she wanted to go play in the city. <laughs> so Kristen gets her and she's screaming at Kristen, I want to play in the city. And Kristen said, I know I'm a bad mommy not letting you play in the dead city, but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> but she really thought it was a city. With, like, with the, the way they were shaped with the buildings. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. That is so funny. I mean, not the cemetery funny, but her thoughts of it is that it's a city. And she wanted to play in the city. Like they do in the cartoons. <laughs> and to her, they look like giant buildings. So. Oh, my goodness. I had to tell you that because she had me laughing so hard. I literally, it was a belly laugh. Where, like, my whole stomach hurt from laughing so hard. It was crazy. <laughs> and Vicky's just filming her running. <laughs> and Chris and James. <laughs> and she's quick. She's quick, man. Chris and Chris had to dodge this way and grab her, but she got her. And she's just screaming, I want to play in the city. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's get it together here. Um, we have just been finishing up our spring cleaning, getting the boxes, organizing my yarn from where I had it stored in. My little container was over full, so we put it in the big containers where he had his puzzles stored. But now that he's got his puzzle sh shelf that's like in order of sizes of boxes, shape puzzles, this brand puzzles, everything is organized. And he got his new puzzle of the month in and he set it down and there was an opening. So I put it in there and he goes, what's, what's, what is going on with my shelf? And I said, what? He knew, he knew that I put that puzzle in the shelf. <laughs> How do you remember it all? But he knows. He can tell where his DVDs are. And if somebody took one out, this one's missing. Why is it not in that row? Where is it? And I'm like, I was watching it. And I mean, he knows. Like this, what's, what's missing? This movie's missing. Where is it? Oh, my God. So he's the, the little organizer one. And I... And like the disorganized one always have been. But I always know in my disorganization where everything's at. <laughs> my, my mom used to tell me how can you find everything when it's all in disarray. I said it's not in disarray. It's works in progress. And I know where stuff is. Because I know where I said it. <laughs> Use a driver crazy. So I started making boogie balls. And this one, I watched a video to see how to make them. Then you roll them around and get them all going. So it's a pokeball that you catch your little Pokemon in. Then I tried my own pattern one. This one. But the only thing is, I don't like that I made the white that big. So her, the one I watched was smaller. But this one, I like it. I like the size. I like, it's a hand. It's perfect for kids. But next one, the white won't be so big. So you can see the black more like this one. So I made that a little too big. But it was an oops. But that's okay. The cats will love playing with that one anyway. 
And let's see what else. I have one more thing that I have to show you that I, I just started making. So. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, I made this head of this elephant, not with the tusks or anything, just the head and the ears, like years, like last year or something like that, two years ago. Well, I went through eight colors of gray and could not find the match that I used to make this. So I did the body in this gray then trimmed his ears, and then gave him a little deco up here. So I thought it kind of blended really nice. But that's my elephant. And then I did the tusks, you know, and they always have one that's bigger than the other. So I made it just like that. And they curl up like that. And he's got a little smile. <laughs> But that's my elephant. And Sadie said I should have put whites around his eyes and then the eyes. But I think I might just put like a dink, dink of white and make it kind of like pop. So I wanted to show you that. <clears throat> then I wanted to tell you Happy Mother's Day. Just in case I don't get my other taping done or put up right away. So happy Mother's Day to all our beautiful mommies out there. And I have all the packages ready to go. I was waiting on one address to come in and, I, and then now I got them all done. I didn't want to have to make two trips to the post office. So they will be mailed out on Monday. So um, sorry for the wait, but I wanted to make sure I had them all together. And I am so glad and happy that you guys had so much fun doing the challenge. And I'm just like, hmm, I got to think of a new challenge. So I'll be getting back to you on that. And other than that, I've got something else in the works that I want to show you, but it's not done yet. Then I have some blankets that I'm going to show you. And <laughs> oh, did you guys see the Northern Lights last night? It went across. We had them out here in Illinois. It went through Champaign. We got like a little bit of it over here. But people in Champaign were showing pictures of where it went over there. And then it went through Indiana. All the way down to Alaska. And people in, um, what town was it? I can't remember, but they got some beautiful pictures of those northern lights. And that's the yarn that Robert surprised me with for my birthday was the Hershner's northern lights and neon lights. So it was like this through the sky. Then I got the purple ones and the bright pink ones down here too. And the pictures these people were bringing in and putting online and stuff from, oh my, they were beautiful. And I mean, and we got a really nice view of it. So, don't have to travel to see the Northern Lights. The Northern Lights came here to see us. So, I hope you guys got to see it. If you didn't, I'm sorry, but look up the pictures because they're really, really cool. All right, I am going to let you go for now. I will be back with some more. And hugs and puppy kisses, prayers if you need them. And please remember, adopt, don't shop. There is just way too many babies out there that need a home. And I'm proud of all our adopting mommies and daddies. You guys make me so happy and proud. And then... I hope you guys have a great Mother's Day. I hope you enjoy your children. And if you don't have children, you can still be a mother. It's okay. You can be your fur baby's mommy, 
you can be. Your bird baby mommy, birds feathers, feather baby mommy, whatever. Or if you just have a cuddle buddy, you're their mommy. So happy Mother's Day to you guys all. I hope you do have a great time and I hope you're safe and happy. And I will be back with some more for you. Love you guys. Bye.